Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and in this video we will be discussing the important questions and uh, answers of marketing management MCO 06. In fact, you know one of the most wanted video because uh, you people are uh, you know commenting okay, sir please make a video on MCO 06 and uh, just let me tell you like there are a lot of concepts and these uh, are the contents and there are a total of uh, 19 units which we will discuss and we will try to find out all the important topics from each unit that you must study but before that uh, let me tell you that you know uh, June 2022 exam paper was little bit different like it was not common a uh, lot of students had uh, problems uh, in the examination so just uh, try to find out ki which units we are targeted basically you know uh, unit 3 that is marketing information and research this was targeted then uh, the question was from regulation this uh, unit 2 this was also targeted uh, buyers behavior question came from this unit 2 and then uh, the questions were also from you know product development and uh, life cycle lot of questions came from this unit branding packaging and servicing uh, so this unit uh, was mostly targeted and then uh, the different uh, methods of object uh, objectives and methods of pricing so this was uh, the questions came from this uh, the question came from this one also unit 13 uh, distribution channel so and uh, let's see a few more units uh, then the next one was this one marketing uh, communication questions were there from this unit too and uh, personal selling and sales promotion question was there from publicity publicity was there so like this so these were the few uh, units and most of the questions were you know very uncommon questions so let's see like in December 2022 what type of questions uh, you can get and you should uh, prepare more focus on uh, prepare or give more focus on these questions and uh, apart from this you can also buy my study materials uh, on telegram or whatsapp so that will help you a lot in fact right because lot of students you know uh, they, they, they study through my study materials and can easily pass the examination so these study materials you can uh, you know you can refer in fact so that's my advice now it is up to you we we'll start karte hain unit 1 se and unit 1 mein hai uh, introduction to marketing and jisme aapko karna hai like you should know like uh, what is marketing management and uh, this question concepts or philosophies of marketing management uh, ye june 2022 mein nahi aaya tha this question is important one uh, there are five concepts uh, production product selling marketing and societal so ye pancho ke bare mein aapko acche se you know revise karna hai right uh, the next topic is uh, processes of marketing management now basically all these are the like uh, five, uh, four processes are there first one analyzing the market environment secondly selecting target market developing the marketing mix and implementing and controlling so these are the processes or steps in marketing management so friends uh, as you know that my bar bar aapko bol raha hon ki the more you write the more you get so you have to expand uh, again this question the difference between selling and marketing uh, we have like you know we have been doing in fact from class 11 this question so it is not a new question for you and then we have the next concept uh, what are the different functions of marketing marketing ke kya kya functions hote hain uh, bahut sare functions hain aise to and these are basic 11 functions like firstly uh, to collect the information about uh, the customers then market planning as you know that it is marketing management and where there is management there is planning organizing staffing controlling like that uh, the next function is standardization and grading fourth one packaging and grading uh, then we have branding uh, customer support services or after sale services then pricing of the product 
promotion or advertisement of the product uh, then selecting the best channel of distribution for transporting goods uh, then transportation and lastly warehousing so there are as many as you know uh, 11 functions of marketing okay the next unit unit 2 uh, unit 2 is on uh, marketing environment and you should read about the different types of marketing environment now environment as i told you earlier that you know it is very common question in almost all the subjects so you should know like uh, what are the different types of environment or components of environment as we know there are two components uh, micro and macro then again micro environment is divided into five types like customers suppliers resellers competitors and general public so now you just need to expand on the basis of marketing so like this macro environment again economic political socio demographic and technological so it's very simple now this question came in june 2022 uh, the various government regulations affecting marketing in india actually june exam ka jo question paper tha quite you know <coughs> unexpected question the bahut sare so isko zarur se aapko karna hai and uh, iske baad wale jo questions hain like you know important acts uh, affects the, which affect the marketing in india so ye bhi you know aapko zarur karna chahiye as a commerce student you should know about the different commercial acts like you know this basically indian contract act uh, then sell of goods act uh, the industrial development and regulation act uh, this one essential commodities act uh, we know about companies act 1956 mrtp act this is also one of the very important act and uh, consumer protection act 1986 so like this and iske you know iske roles iske main provisions and clauses unit 3 unit 3 is on mis that is marketing information and research you should know like what is uh, this marketing information research uh, it is a process by which the data from the marketing environment is collected analyzed evaluated and transferred to make it useful for the management of a company and basically it consists of people equipment procedures to gather information and supply it to the management so that they can take uh, proper decisions and these are the factors that affect the <coughs> effective marketing information system so basically these uh, four uh, five factors are there firstly identify the type of information needed by the management then analyze the available resources from where the information or data can be collected then you know try to analyze and evaluate the data and uh, select the best source of information and then supply the collected information to the management so it is so simple and there are also you know components of mis and uh, uh, four components are there first one uh, internal reporting system second one is marketing intelligence system third marketing research system and fourth one analytical marketing system so there are you know four components of mis very important question for the exam and uh, you should also read about this difference between uh, market information system and market intelligence system ye question bhi bahut bar exams mein strike karta hai and uh, let's see the next concept is on marketing research now you know marketing research plays a very important role as far as you know company marketing department is concerned so the different types of marketing research that a company generally uh, do uh, are this these things like the first one is a market research second one uh, a research on consumers that is called consumer research then product research like what type of products are demanded in the market then pricing research like you know all those uh, competitors price and the cost of production so all these things are considered then we have advertising research like what type of promotion tools should be used for a particular market and then distribution research like how to distribute or transport the goods from the place of production to the ultimate consumers and lastly, C 
sales research so there are seven types of marketing research which are performed by the company and this is again a very important question process of marketing research now there are again five points in this you know you have to learn the points actually more or less the points are same and even if like uh, you forget one point from any one topic you can adjust the other point in that place no problem with that and uh, you should you know it should ensure that your pen should write more and more and when we talk about the process of doing marketing research first for any research we have to first identify the problem then we will uh, select the research design we have done this in mcu 03 also then we will collect data from primary and secondary sources analyze the data and then preparation of the report so for every research these uh, these are the steps and again buyers behavior we got a lot of questions in june 2022 from this chapter and uh, again like i should also recommend that you know you should understand like you know what is marketing behavior uh, buyers behavior and uh, you can skip this question like because it came in june 2022 exams the factors influencing uh, buyers behavior uh, so again like the different stages in buying decisions so this question also came in june 2022 so let's uh, skip this and straight away move on to unit 5 unit 5 is on market and market segmentation no question came from this chapter in june so you should target you should uh, focus more on this <coughs> uh, the different types of uh, market are there like you know uh, basically organizational market and consumer market ye aapke syllabus mein zyada focus karne ke liye bola gaya hai organization market very simple you know uh, the purchases done by the organization and consumer market where we uh, individuals uh, buy goods and uh, these are the different uh, you know characteristics of organizational market this question also came in the previous years exams so you should learn this and uh, the different types of organizational market uh, basically you know there are four types of organizational market the first one industrial market where uh, you know the, like all those uh, goods that a company manufacture are supplied to the industries and uh, reseller markets where the goods are supplied to wholesalers the government market where the mark, uh, government is the main buyer of the goods and institutional markets there are few institutions like you know schools colleges and all that so these institutions also buy goods uh, then let's move on to market segmentation market segmentation pe question banta hi banta hai and uh, june mein aaya nahi tha to aap isko acche se kar sakte hain मार्केट सेगमेंटेशन बहुत ईजी है इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ डिवाइडिंग द होल मार्केट इन टू डिफरेंट सेगमेंट्स और स्मॉल ग्रुप्स एंड देन यू कैन टारगेट ऑन दो स्मॉल ग्रुप्स देन वाई दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट मार्केट सेगमेंटेशन बहुत फायदा है इससे कंपनी कैन कॉन्सेंट्रेट इट्स रिसोर्सेस मोर एफिशियंटली एंड इट हेल्प्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द नीड्स एंड डिमांड्स ऑफ द कंज्यूमर्स then uh, it also you know uh, it can increase the sales and profit of the firm and uh, it also helps to face the competition and uh, it also helps to you know uh, select the best channel of distribution so like that the next topic is requirements of an effective market segmentation so what are the different uh, requirements again this question is also very important one first one it should be measurable second uh, it should have a sufficient size and third one it should be stable uh, it should be accessible to the both like the company and the consumers it should be differentiable like the buyers can easily differentiate and action actionability uh, company can take actions and uh, there are again different bases or types of market segmentation and in this topic like you can divide the segmentation into four types uh, geographical segmentation which is done according to the zones or areas or cities 
डेमोग्राफिक सेगमेंटेशन दैन साइकोग्राफिक सेगमेंटेशन एंड सोशो कल्चरल सेगमेंटेशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल दिस टॉपिक्स यू माइट गेट ए शॉर्ट नोट ऑन दिस मास कस्टमाइजेशन बेसिकली इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ मार्केटिंग इन विच ए फर्म प्रोड्यूस ए गुड्स और सर्विस अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द कस्टमर दैट मीन्स इट गिव्स कस्टमाइज सर्विसेस टू द कस्टमर एंड इन रिटर्न द कंपनी कैन चार्ज हायर प्राइसेस फ्रॉम द कस्टमर लेट्स मू वॉन्ट टू यूनिट सिक्स नो क्वेश्चन केम फ्रॉम दिस यूनिट दिस इज ऑन मार्केट टारगेटिंग एंड पोजिशनिंग सेगमेंटेशन टारगेटिंग पोजिशनिंग ऑल आर इंटर रिलेटेड सो मार्केट टारगेटिंग यू शुड डिफाइन दिस मार्केट टारगेटिंग इज डिफाइंड एज अ सेट ऑफ बायर्स शोइंग कॉमन इंटरेस्ट और कैरेक्टरिस्टिक दैट ए कंपनी डिसाइड्स टू सर्व और इन अदर वर्ड्स यू नो ए कंपनी टारगेट सम स्पेसिफिक कंज्यूमर्स इन दिस प्रोसेस राइट सो द मेन फोकस ऑफ द कंपनी इज ऑन ए स्मॉल ग्रुप ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स एंड देर आर डिफरेंट प्रोसीड्योर्स ऑफ मार्केट टारगेटिंग firstly concentrated marketing that means it concentrate on a particular area then differentiated on different areas undifferentiated that means you know it is not common widespread and choosing a product for the target so next topic is uh, positioning positioning a product very important one Uh, positioning means uh, relating a product to the market in simple words it is a process of creating a clear image in the minds of customers about a product or service and uh, this positioning can be done in three ways first comparative strategy where a company compares its own product with others other products uh, differentiation strategy that means it adds some you know specific quality or attribute to the Uh, this thing product and then segmentation strategy so these three strategies or methods are used for positioning the uh, product in the market okay and this is what i was telling you about that uh, uh, this question uh, came in previous exam uh, the showing you know it asked like uh, what uh, what is the relation between market segmentation targeting and positioning okay the next question is uh, uh, from unit 7 product concepts and classification unit 7 and here different types of product this question also came in the previous years exams all these questions and topics are important as far as your exam is concerned so like you can't stop you know skip any one of the topic because all these uh, study materials i have designed according to the previous year's question papers so like this so different types of product basically four types consumer goods which are consumed by us industrial goods are consumed by industries durable and non durable goods basically it is again like it is uh, related with consumer goods and services and again consumer goods can be again classified into three types convenience good products uh, shopping products and specialty products uh, these things i have explained in my previous video so there will be you know wastage of time uh, right then you should also learn about the difference between product and service very easy question uh, we can easily uh, differentiate between this and uh, again like this question what are the different challenges or issues in the marketing of services this is also very common to all the mcos uh, i mean mcom papers and basically uh, the challenges starts with you know the services are inseparable they are heterogeneous that means differs from person to person intangible uh, intangible means you cannot see them you cannot touch them you cannot move them uh, then no ownership you cannot own the uh, services of others and uh, these are basically perishable in nature once you use the service it will perish and it is very difficult to measure the value of the services given by the service holder so like this right the next unit is on <coughs> product development and product life cycle and uh, here again let's see what are the important uh, questions that you should uh, learn first 
uh, stages in the development of a new product very very important question you should learn this at any cost and basically you know there are five, uh, six stages first an idea must strike to your mind about producing a good then screening of the idea whether your idea is has potential or not is it logical or not then concept development right then analysis or testing the product whether your uh, product uh, is uh, up to the mark as far as quality and standards are concerned and then commercialization how you will sell this in the market and lastly evaluation so these are the six major steps or processes in the development of a new product okay and here comes the product life cycle one of the most important chapter of mco 06 and we have discussed this topic many times in the previous video also and for every product there are four stages first introduction then growth third maturity and lastly it will decline and become dead so you should learn about all the characteristics uh, of the product in all these four stages right and you can also draw a beautiful uh, you know chart for this like this something like this uh, this stage this particular stage is a growth stage i mean introduction stage and after this this stage is a growth stage and now here the product is fully matured and will starts to decline and slowly and slowly it will collapse so like this this is product life cycle uh, this question came in June 2022. Why do new product fail in the market? In fact, this is a common question. And when you will analyze the previous year question paper, you will find this question quite a lot of times in the papers. Okay. So, let's see the next uh, unit. Uh, unit 9. Unit 9 is on branding. A lot of question came from this unit. Branding, packaging and labeling. Uh, we had question from branding like what is branding, what are the advantages of branding, why company does branding. Uh, so like this, so you know you can uh, skip this uh, unit uh, for uh, December exam. Uh, but there was no question from uh, packaging I suppose. So you should read about this like what is packaging, why it is important or what is the role of packaging as we know like it protects the goods from all sorts of uh, hazards okay so packaging is an important function and these are the different uh, functions of packaging like it provides uh, protection to the product uh, it makes the appeal to the customer that means uh, you know packaging is a silent salesman and uh, it also <coughs> tells about the performance it should be convenient and it should be cost effective and there are few you know packaging strategies this question might strike in the this year's exams uh, the different packaging strategies uh, very simple one like you know different strategies are used like discount pack coupon pack premium pack you know like this so lot of uh, things are uh, doing for this company and uh, then comes labeling Labeling is a process of putting a small label indicating the price, weight, size, instruction uh, to the product. And labeling is important because it gives detailed information about the product. It uh, helps to identify the product from its label. And it also helps to uh, in the grading of different categories. Uh, that, that will definitely result in increasing the sale and improving the brand image of the company. Unit 10 is on objectives and methods of pricing and you should know like uh, what do you mean by pricing, what are the factors that affect pricing. Like uh, these are like five methods like objectives of the firm, what are the objectives of the firm, whether it wants to maximize the profit or uh, whether it wants to maximize the sales, then uh, what is the cost of production of the commodity then what type of competition there how many uh, their strengths weaknesses then how is the demand for the product and lastly government control on these uh, products right the next one is uh, objectives of pricing like what should be the aim or goals of the object uh, of uh, a company while fixing the price of the product 
so these are the basic objectives like profit maximization uh, second one is maximum return on investment the third one is maximum sales volume just i was telling you about uh, fourth one is achieving market share ki bhai ek market se ek particular share apne ko uh, capture karna hai then uh, sometimes you know company survival ke liye bhi uh, survival ki bhi strategy hoti hai and then prevent competition ye generally uh, electronic and uh, jo well established company hai so they generally use this and sometimes price stabilization to ye bahut hi important question hai isko bilkul bhi miss nahi karna hai and uh, the next one is methods of price determination how a company fixes the price or determine the price of a product basically there are three methods and all these three methods are very important you might also get short notes on this like cost based pricing where basically uh, you know जो ज़्यादा जो जोर दिया जाता है दैट इज़ ऑन द कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन और उसके ऊपर एक नॉमिनल प्रॉफिट ऐड करती है कंपनी सो दिस इज़ द मोस्ट फेमस वेरी कॉमन टाइप ऑफ प्राइसिंग द सेकेंड वन इज बायर प्राइसिंग यू नो वॉट बायर वॉट वॉट दे कैन एफर्ट हाउ इज द परचेजिंग पावर ऑफ द बायर एंड अकॉर्डिंगली द कंपनी फिक्सेज द प्राइस सो यहाँ पे जो मेन सेंटर पे चीज़ है वो है बायर परचेजर कंज्यूमर एंड थर्डली ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन मार्केट में कॉम्पिटिटर्स के प्राइस क्या है एंड अकॉर्डिंगली द कंपनी फिक्सेस द प्राइस ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट तो ये सब मैंने यहाँ पे अपने स्टडी मेटेरियल में डिफाइन किए हुए हैं ओके द नेक्स्ट वन द नेक्स्ट वन इज अगेन लाइक मोर और लेस सेम क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट यूनिट यूनिट इलेवन प्राइस एडजस्टमेंट स्ट्रैटेजीज यूनिट इलेवन राइट और दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन Uh, सबसे पहले इसमें आपको करना चाहिए लाइक व्हाट आर द मेथड्स ऑफ जियोग्राफिकल प्राइसिंग एंड यहाँ पे हमारे पास में पांच मेथड है फर्स्ट इज एफओबी ओरिजिन प्राइसिंग सेकंड वन यूनिफॉर्म डिलीवर्ड प्राइसिंग थर्ड वन इज जोन प्राइसिंग फोर्थ वन बेसिंग पॉइंट प्राइसिंग एंड फिफ्थ वन फ्रेट एब्जॉर्बन प्राइसिंग तो ये कभी भी कोई भी एक जोग्राफी को लेकर जब प्राइसिंग होती है कंपनी की तो ये पांच मेथड को यूज करती है कंपनी देन अगेन दिस इज द इनफैक्ट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन जो ऑलमोस्ट बहुत बार एग्जाम्स में स्ट्राइक किया है मेथड्स ऑफ प्राइसिंग ए न्यू प्रोडक्ट और यू नो ये क्वेश्चन जून में भी आया था तो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है प्राइस स्कीमिंग प्राइसिंग स्ट्रैटेजी देन पेनेट्रेशन स्ट्रैटेजी है देन वैल्यू बेस्ड प्राइसिंग है साइकोलॉजिकल प्राइसिंग है कॉस्ट प्लस प्राइसिंग है देन वी हैव डायनामिक प्राइसिंग एंड लास्टली जोग्राफिक प्राइसिंग नाउ आई हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑल दीज पॉइंट्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑल्सो सो फ्रेंड्स डू नॉट मिस आउट दोज प्रीवियस वीडियोज दे आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन दैट विल मेक योर कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर सो दैट यू कैन यू नो यू कैन राइट यू कैन एक्सपैंड योर आंसर्स इन द एग्जामिनेशन and you should also study about price scheming pricing strategy and market penetration pricing strategy these are the two main methods of uh, pricing a new product okay the next one is uh, marketing mix uh, right from class 11 we are studying about this and this is also known as four p's of marketing like product price place and promotion so in this way it forms a uh, 4p and it is all about the combination of this four piece that we called marketing mixture the next unit is uh, unit 12 regulation of prices and to regulate prices we have already discussed these acts in the first unit and uh, you know when we talk about this we should also talk about uh, this this one mrtp act 1969 one of the most important act and uh, one of its provision is Uh, resale price maintenance uh, actually this resale price maintenance uh, it strike in june 2022 so you can skip this one and uh, but you can concentrate on this like a short note you can get on essential commodities act so this one is a very important question and uh, as we know like essential commodities are uh, edible oil petrol kerosene sugar tea cement wheat paper etc and the prices of these products are generally controlled by the government so 
like this unit 13 is our distribution channel a lot of questions came from this chapter in june and uh, not a new topic in fact for you you have studied a lot of times and uh, you should know like uh, what are the functions of channels of distribution like it helps in selling the product and services in the assembling of products and grouping grading of the product then physical distribution and marketing of the product then uh, salesmanship and after sales services it also helps in uh, promotion advertisement of the product then inventory management can be done effectively by proper channel of distribution and this channel of distribution also helps to introduce new product these are all functions importance role so you might get in different words but the answer will be same then implementing the price mechanism and marketing intelligence and feedback so and lastly uh, maintaining records so like this these are all the functions which you can describe in the answer and these are the different types of channel of distribution like uh, the, this, this one is a direct channel manufacturer to directly to consumers that is in direct marketing and uh, we have some indirect channel like manufacturer sales to retailers retailers in return sells it to the consumer in the third type of channel manufacturer sells to the wholesaler wholesaler sells to the retailer and retailer in turn uh, sells it to the consumers and lastly again the channel becomes very long where the manif the company sells uh, its products to the agents the agents sells the product to the wholesalers and again wholesalers sell to the retailer and again retailer sells to the consumers so like that there are four different channels of distribution and these are the different roles of middlemen or intermediary, uh, intermediaries in the channels of distribution like uh, you know uh, they can do grouping of the product uh, they can do the function of allocation of the product in fact they do a lot of advertisement also and uh, negotiations and risk taking so like this and this question uh, is a very important one what are the factors that affect the choice of channels of distribution very common question bahut baar exams mein aaya hua hai and uh, basically when a company chooses a particular channel it always uh, you know go with the nature of the product product ka nature kaisa hai whether consumer hai durable hai non durable hai perishable hai like that then what is the nature of the firm uh, how is the competition level and what type of channel they uh, they generally use and type of market so like this okay okay guys uh, the next one is uh, the different steps involved in channel management uh, channel management is a very wide concept and uh, here like you know selecting the channel members uh, give training to the channel members then motivate uh, motivating them to work hard for the product and then evaluating their performance and then modifying the channel arrangements so these are the basic uh, you know uh, steps involved in channel management this question is a very important one the next one is also very very important bahut baar exams mein aata hai channel conflict kabhi kabhi channel members ke beech mein conflict ho jate hain disputes ho jate hain and uh, due to that uh, company ko kafi loss hota hai isse तो ये डिस्प्यूट्स एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिस्प्यूट्स लाइक यू नो चैनल कन्फ्लिक्ट बोला जाता है डिस्प्यूट्स को एंड ये कुछ डिस्प्यूट्स हैं जैसे वर्टिकल डिस्प्यूट हो सकते हैं ऊपर से नीचे की तरफ दैन वी हैव हॉरिजॉन्टल दैट मीन्स ऑन द सेम लाइन आई मीन होल सेलर टू होल सेलर लाइक दैट दैन मल्टीपल चैनल कन्फ्लिक्ट इस तरीके से वी कैन डिवाइड द कन्फ्लिक्ट इन टू थ्री टाइप्स and uh, there are different causes of conflict like sometimes you know there is a clash of goals uh, some ambiguous uh, roles are there which results in conflict uh, different market perceptions are there for different middlemen so that creates a problem then uh, marketing uh, manufacturers dominance over the intermediary uh, intermediaries so that creates a problem for us and uh, we have again like uh, there wherever there is a change the resistance uh, like you know there is a resistance for the change and lack of communication and market misalignment and these are the basic consequences like 
एक कंपनी को किस तरीके से चैनल कन्फ्लिक्ट से लॉस हो सकता है तो ये पॉइंट्स मैंने यहाँ पे लिखे हैं जैसे प्राइस वॉर हो सकता है सेल्स uh, की गिरावट हो सकती है डिटोरिएशन हो सकता है कस्टमर uh, में डिससेटिस्फैक्शन क्रिएट हो सकता है पोअर पब्लिक इमेज बन सकती है रिलेशन खराब हो सकता है और बहुत सारे डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स चैनल को छोड़ के जा सकते हैं एंड यहाँ पे है ये कि लाइक यू नो चैनल कन्फ्लिक्ट को किस तरीके से हैंडल करे कंपनी बेसिकली यू नो कॉमन गोल होना चाहिए एंड एक्सचेंज ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज बार बार एक्सचेंज करने से भी ठीक है कन्फ्लिक्ट नहीं होते ट्रेड एसोसिएशन इट कैन टेक हेल्प ऑफ देम एंड देन देर शुड बी रेगुलर कम्युनिकेशन बिकॉज कम्युनिकेशन हैज इट्स ओन एडवांटेजेस and fair pricing should be charged and uh, it should not be like different price or charges to different channel members it should be uniform then legal procedures are there to settle the disputes co-optation can be done by the company so like this there are you know different methods uh, unit 14 is on marketing uh, intermediaries <coughs> एंड यर अगेन लाइक द रोल ऑफ मिडल मैन एंड इंटरमीडियज लाइक मोर और लेस पहले वाले यूनिट से रिलेटेड है एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मिडल मैन लाइक फंक्शनल एंड मर्चेंट मिडल मैन तो रिटेलर्स के ऊपर क्वेश्चन आया था जून में जैसे यहाँ पे फंक्शनल मिडल मैन में ये कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट फाइव टाइप्स के हैं लाइक यू नो फैक्टर्स ब्रोकरस कमीशन एजेंट्स ऑक्शनर्स एंड सी एंड एफ एजेंट्स तो ये पाँच मेन फंक्शनल मिडल मैन है एंड अगेन मर्चेंट मिडल मैन होल सेलर एंड रिटेलर यूनिट फिफ्टीन इज ऑन मार्केटिंग लॉजिस्टिक्स हाउ द गुड्स मूव फ्रॉम द प्लेस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन टू द अल्टीमेट कंज्यूमर्स एंड ये कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन हैं मार्केटिंग लॉजिस्टिक्स के लाइक डिलीवरी ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट प्राइस फिक्सेशन बिकॉज डिलीवरी के भी कॉस्ट होते हैं तो दैट विल बी एडेड टू द कॉस्ट ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट समटाइम्स लॉजिस्टिक्स डज प्रमोशन फॉर द प्रोडक्ट and it adds place utility to the product that means it helps in the movement of the product to the market area and uh, again like different objectives are there of the marketing logistics so i have categorized uh, this into two improving customer service and cost reduction so these are the two basic objectives of marketing logistics and uh, again marketing logistics uh, you know uh, some approaches or models are there which a company can uh, you know adopt first one is a total system approach and second one total cost approach right so total system is all about the whole system and total cost is just based on the cost of the product uh, this topic i have explained in my previous videos also so very important question this one total system approach and total cost approach iske upar question always aata hai right यूनिट 16 इज ऑन मार्केटिंग कम्युनिकेशन यहाँ से जून में बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन आए थे मार्केटिंग कम्युनिकेशन लाइक व्हाट इज मार्केटिंग कम्युनिकेशन द डिफरेंट द डिफरेंट फंक्शंस ऑफ मार्केटिंग कम्युनिकेशन एंड व्हाट आर द प्रोसीड्योर्स ऑफ डेवलपिंग द इफेक्टिव मार्केटिंग कम्युनिकेशन ये मेन पार्ट था क्वेश्चन का तो ये जून में आ चुके हैं क्वेश्चन सो वी कैन यू नो स्कीप दिस फॉर द टाइमिंग यूनिट सेवेंटीन यूनिट सेवेंटीन इज ऑन पर्सनल सेलिंग एंड सेल्स प्रमोशन यहां से भी बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन आए थे जून में यू नो वट इज पर्सनल सेलिंग एंड बेसिकली दिस क्वेश्चन इज पर्सनल सेलिंग इक्वली रेलिवेंट टू ऑल सिचुएशन बेसिकली यू नो इट यू हैव वॉट यू हैव टू राइट इज यू नो द सुटेबिलिटी ऑफ पर्सनल सेलिंग इन बिच केसेस पर्सनल सेलिंग इज सुटेबल ये क्वेश्चन आया था जून में राइट right? ओके द नेक्स्ट वन स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन पर्सनल सेलिंग ये वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन क्वेश्चन है जो यू नो हर साल एग्जाम्स में स्ट्राइक करता है एंड टोटली ये सेल्समैन को लेके है कि सेल्समैन प्रोडक्ट को किस तरीके से बेचता है सबसे पहले तो वो प्रिपेयर करता है अपने आप को देन वो प्रोस्पेक्टिंग करता है लाइक यू नो प्रोस्पेक्टिंग कस्टमर्स जो प्रोडक्ट को ले सकते हैं प्रोस्पेक्टिव कस्टमर्स तो उसको सर्च करता है देन अगेन प्री अप्रोच Uh, एक प्री अप्रोच तैयार करता है कि यू you नो know, किस तरीके से जो प्रोस्पेक्टिव कस्टमर है उसको उसके साथ में डील किया जाए देन वहाँ पे वो अप्रोच स्टार्ट करता है डेमो देता है प्रोडक्ट का 
अगर कस्टमर का कोई ऑब्जेक्शन है क्वेरीज है उसके आंसर्स देता है एंड लास्टली क्लोजिंग द सेल और क्लोजिंग द सेल के बाद में अगेन ही शुड ऑल्सो टेक फीडबैक फॉलो अप एक्शन ये क्वेश्चन इंपॉर्टेंट है बहुत बार आता है क्वालिटीज ऑफ ए गुड सेल्समैन हम लोग जानते हैं बहुत सारे पॉइंट्स लिख सकते हैं ओके देन वी हैव सेल्स प्रमोशन द डिफरेंट टूल्स ऑफ सेल्स प्रमोशन जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके पब्लिसिटी से क्वेश्चन आया था जून में तो आप पढ़ सकते हैं एडवर्टाइजमेंट के बारे में लाइक यू नो वॉट इज एडवर्टाइजमेंट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस और मेरिट्स एंड डिमेरिट्स ऑफ एडवर्टाइजमेंट ये क्वेश्चन आप तैयार कर सकते हैं कॉमन क्वेश्चन है अगर क्वेश्चन आ गया तो यू नो यू कैन राइट लॉट एंड दिस वन आल्सो यू कैन प्रिपेयर लाइक द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एडवर्टाइजिंग एंड पर्सनल सेलिंग एक सेल्समैन को जो जॉब होता है दैट इज पर्सनल सेलिंग एडवर्टाइजिंग जो होती है वो एक डिफरेंट चीज है तो दोनों ही अलग चीजें हैं एंड ये पब्लिसिटी के ऊपर बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन आए थे जून में तो इसको आप स्केप कर सकते हैं फॉर द डिसम्बर एग्जाम्स Uh, आगे चलते हैं नेक्स्ट यूनिट के तरफ एंड द नेक्स्ट यूनिट इज एमर्जिंग इश्यूज इन मार्केटिंग दिस इज द लास्ट यूनिट ऑफ एम सी ओ जीरो सिक्स यहां से क्वेश्चन नहीं आया था तो यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस यूनिट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन बहुत बार आते भी है प्रीवियस एग्जाम्स में सो so, सबसे पहले आपको करना चाहिए रिलेशनशिप मार्केटिंग क्योंकि एज वी नो लाइक टू डेज मार्केट इज अ रिलेशनशिप मार्केट जिसके रिलेशन अच्छे हैं वो मार्केटिंग में आगे निकल जाता है एंड व्हाट स्ट्रेटजीज ए कंपनी शुड एडॉप्ट इन रिलेशनशिप मार्केटिंग एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ मार्केटिंग रिलेशनशिप मार्केटिंग एंड मेनली इसके एडवांटेजेस रोल्स ऑफ रिलेशनशिप मार्केटिंग ये सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है तो इस क्वेश्चन को बिल्कुल मिस नहीं करना है द नेक्स्ट वन इज मार्केटिंग ओवर इंटरनेट ये सबसे हॉट टॉपिक है फॉर टू डेज मार्केटिंग बिकॉज एज वी नो लाइक ऑनलाइन मार्केटिंग जो अभी काफी फ्लॉरिश कर रहा है तो इसके ऊपर क्वेश्चन बन सकता है हॉट टॉपिक है एंड यू शुड ऑल्सो प्रिपेयर दिस वन एडवांटेजेस ऑफ इंटरनेट मार्केटिंग एंड देर आर सम डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑल्सो तो इस पर क्वेश्चन आ सकता है फॉर डिसम्बर एग्जाम्स इसको बहुत अच्छे से प्रिपेयर करना है कॉमन टॉपिक है बहुत सारी इंफॉर्मेशन आप लोग जानते भी है तो यू कैन राइट दिस देन कम्स ग्रीन मार्केटिंग ये भी बहुत प्रीवियस ईयर में काफी काफी ईयर्स में क्वेश्चन आया ग्रीन मार्केटिंग ग्रीन मार्केटिंग इज द मार्केटिंग ऑफ एनवायरमेंटली फ्रेंडली प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज राइट तो ये एक सिंगल सेंटेंस से इसकी मीनिंग समझ में आ जाती है कि यू नो कंपनी को वही प्रोडक्ट मैन्युफैक्चर करने चाहिए बेचने चाहिए जो एनवायरमेंटल फ्रेंडली हो राइट right? एंड ये कुछ मेथड्स है फॉर ग्रीन मार्केटिंग लाइक यूजिंग इको फ्रेंडली पेपर एंड इंक स्कीपिंग द प्रिंटिंग मटेरियल ऑल टूगेदर दैन हैविंग ए रिसाइकलिंग प्रोग्राम यूजिंग इको फ्रेंडली प्रोडक्ट पैकेजिंग यूजिंग यू नो एफिशियंट पैकेजिंग एंड शिपिंग मेथड्स यूजिंग इको फ्रेंडली पावर सोर्सेस सो लाइक दैट एंड इसके इम्पोर्टेंस बहुत है बिकॉज टूडेज कंज्यूमर इज वेरी मच कंसर्न अबाउट द एनवायरमेंट सो यू नो इफ ए कंपनी इज सीरियस अबाउट ग्रीन मार्केटिंग इट कैन यू नो इट कैन हैव एक्सेस टू न्यू मार्केट्स द सेकेंड वन पॉजिटिव पब्लिक इमेज दैट मीन्स द पब्लिक इमेज और रेपुटेशन ऑफ द कंपनी कैन बी इंक्रीज दैन इकोनॉमिक एडवांटेजेस आर देयर द कंपनी कैन अर्न मोर because the people will always use the environmental friendly product and uh, the company can sustain for a you know for a quite a long period of time in the market and it also gives competitive advantage to the company over other companies so like this few disadvantages are there the basic thing is like green marketing results in you know making uh, the product expensive then we have for social marketing like marketing for society or in other words you know socially responsible products should be manufactured and sold and uh, there are four p's of social uh, marketing same as uh, in case of uh, marketing mix same four p's product price place and promotion and again this one rural marketing one of the most important topic 
जिसको आप इग्नोर नहीं कर सकते एंड रूरल मार्केटिंग एज वी नो द रूरल मार्केट इन इंडिया हैज़ बिन ऑन ए राइजिंग ट्रेंड एंड काफ़ी रूरल मार्केट डेवलपमेंट हो रहा है एंड कंपनीज भी ऑल्सो यू नो दे आर गिविंग ए लॉट ऑफ फोकस ऑन रूरल मार्केटिंग तो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है एंड वाई इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द कंपनीज सो लाइक दिस दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन सो फ्रेंड्स दैट्स ऑल इन दिस वीडियो एंड दिस वे आर द फ्यू क्वेश्चन दैट यू मस्ट प्रिपेयर फॉर द डिसम्बर एग्जाम्स एंड आई थिंक आई एम श्योर लाइक इफ यू कैन प्रिपेयर दिस क्वेश्चन वेल अगर ठीक से प्रिपेरेशन कर लिया आप लोगों ने तो एग्जाम्स में आपको एटी नाइन्टी परसेंट से यू नो मार्क्स आप इजीली सिक्योर कर सकते हैं इजी कॉन्सेप्ट है मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो एंड बेस्ट ऑफ लाइक फॉर द एग्जाम्स